If you want to migrate of shared hosting to VPS or dedicated server, you have two choices, doing everything by yourself or using control panel. In this video, I will compare four free web hosting panels and I will show you how they work with WordPress. But in the near future, I will also publish video comparing them to paid control panels so you will see what difference there is. Contenders for best free control panel are AA panel, Cloud Panel, Hestia, KeyHelp. There's also other options like CyberPanel, but that didn't work because installation script has broken download link and I'm not comfortable with recommending modifying scripts as something for beginners. Also, they have typos in basic files. No, maybe next time. I also wanted to check ISP config, but their website went down when I was filming this video. So maybe next time also? Yeah, that's something that you need to keep in mind. Free hosting panels are made by hobbyists as some kind of side project or by corporations that want to sell you pro features or support. Ok, so now let's talk what all of these panels have in common. All of them have a web-based graphical user interface, so you can easily manage your server. All of them have dashboard where you can see current usage. All of them have file managers, database managers, but only Cloud Panel doesn't have mail server. In documentation, they explain that this is because of performance reasons and yeah, that's kind of true. Mail server with all goodies such as spam filter, take a lot of resources and external email providers are really cheap nowadays. If you need to have your own mail on server, there's a guide how you can install MailCow on Cloud Panel. It won't be nicely integrated like other control panels that have email support built in. Installation of all control panels that I'm showing you today is easy because you need to paste just one single command into terminal and it will be installed after a few minutes. AA panel is very feature rich, but if there is something missing, you can take a look into App Store. Here you will see why AA panel is free. They earn money by selling you apps, but these apps go way beyond what other free or even paid panels provide. Installing WordPress with AA panel is very easy because there is a built in WordPress installer. Just specify what you need and that's all. Cloud Panel was my choice when it came to control panels and I'm very excited to see how it compares with other ones. Why it's my choice? Interface is very clean, it's very user-friendly and has unique features. If you install a Cloud Panel on VPS from supported providers, then you will see extra tab when you can enable snapshots. That means you will get blazing fast recovery if there is some problem with your website and you don't need to learn anything or use external providers. You can turn on option that will completely block all traffic that is going outside of Cloudflare network, that will mitigate issues caused by IP leaks or DDoS attacks that are bypassing Cloudflare. I love that panel because such features are easily accessible. No need to learn a bunch of technical stuff. You can have your website up and running instantly, but at the same time benefit from advanced features that are not available with typical shared hosting providers. Cloud Panel is highly opinionated in terms of stack. You get Nginx, MySQL or MariaDB and Varnish Cache. There is no option for alternatives. It doesn't bother me at all because that stack works very well. Hestia is the most popular of all free control panels. It is aimed at advanced users who are not scared of technical stuff, but at the same time want some kind of graphical interface to speed up some work or have a visual representation for clients. To be honest, I didn't like interface of this panel it's very unintuitive and sometimes requires to dive into terminal. For example, there is no switch to replace Apache with Nginx in a web-based graphical interface. You need to do it in terminal. Hestia is just more admin panel than user control panel. There is WordPress installer, just like in every other panel that I showed before, and it's pretty straightforward. Key help is also more like Elmin control panel, but I think it does it in a better way than Hestia. It looks very clean, it's more intuitive, and it has even more advanced features than everything I mentioned. With Key help, no matter what you need, you can do it from graphical interface, and I really like that. 
Sadly, Application Installer is available in Pro version, paid version, which means that if you want to install WordPress, you need to do it all the way, by yourself. Create database, download WordPress, unpack it, and then configure. So now let's see how they compare in terms of performance. I installed WordPress on all of them, and first we will see how they perform with default installation and default content. 100 requests per second. That is quite heavy load, but we can see a big difference, so let me explain what is happening. Default values is what I was getting with no additional work. Pure, clean WordPress. AA panel is way faster, because their installer included fast CGI cache. That is good thing, but that doesn't mean that AA panel is faster by itself. It just has cache layer. I decided to install SQLite object cache on all of them, but Hesiod key help don't have support for SQLite extensions, so sadly that is unavailable. And in these two control panels, there is no easy way to install alternative database that could be used as object cache, such as Redis. So yeah, I do not think that these are great for beginners. Cloud Panel has Varnish Cache. One click in a graphical user interface and it's enabled. That option will make it on par with AA Panel that has fast CGI caching. That option make it on par with AA Panel that has fast CGI. Let's see more demanding load. 500 requests per second. There is no results for most configurations because it was too much for them and the site just wouldn't load at all. Only timeouts. But configurations with fast CGI and varnish still perform great. 1000 requests per second, 2000 requests per second. That's why efficient cache is very important for WordPress, because these results are better than 100 requests per second with no cache. 20 times more and it's faster. Now let's be more realistic. Heavy WooCommerce site that is built with Elementor has tons of elements, pop-ups, products and is basically the biggest nightmare when it comes to optimization. We will start with one request per second. And that is already too much if you don't have cache. More than two seconds to load one visitor. 10 requests per second. Configurations with no cache become unusable because they are loading way too slow. You get only timeouts. 100 requests per second. A varnish spawns child processes and becomes faster with less load. 500 requests per second, Varnish dominates, and we see limitation of FastCGI that is used by AA panel. FastCGI by default is disk-based, while Varnish is RAM-based. RAM is way faster. With 1000 requests per second, we finally see limits of Varnish, or maybe not, because the pure limit is network speed. Network usage goes to 4 gigabits per second. So what we have learned and what I want you to get from this video, Varnish and the fast CGI can speed up your website massively, but these technologies are not made just for one control panel. You can use them anywhere. But I think point of three control panels is what someone who isn't experienced in technical stuff can achieve. What he can turn on in graphical panel, what benefit it will provide. For these reasons, I think Hestia and KeyHub are not great blind recommendation for everyone. They can work for you, but I wouldn't recommend them to someone who just want to install WordPress on VPS, mainly because alternative control panels exist. AA panel gives you great performance out of the box, while with Cloud panel you should install SQLite object cache. By the way, SQLite in lighter workloads is faster than Redis because it doesn't have Unix socket overhead or TCP overhead, depending how it's configured. Okay, I got sidetracked. Install SQLite cache in WordPress and enable Varnish cache in Cloud Panel. It will be fast. And lastly, small bonus for everyone who watched so far. After I dole all benchmarks, I had big WordPress site installed. AA Panel used 2.22 GB of RAM, Cloud Panel 1.66 GB, Hestia 2.03 GB, and Key Help 2.13 GB. We can see that Cloud Panel is the lightest, but remember it doesn't have mail server built in, so that's main reason why. If you need mail, get Zoho Mail, Google Workspace or MX Route. I personally use MX Route. It works flawlessly, and if you get a deal on Low Attack Forum, it ends up very, very cheap for what you get. That's all for today. Have a nice day.